Hello guys, Danek from CreateProxy.com here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a very fast data center Microsoft Azure proxies. Uh, it's gonna be very fast and very easy. Everybody can do it. Uh, it will take maybe five minutes to set up everything. Uh, what you will need is uh, basically Microsoft Azure account and CreateProxy.com account. So that's two requirements. Uh, once, if you don't have an account on Microsoft Azure, uh, you should uh, sign up for a new account. Uh, you will probably receive uh, $200 uh, dollars free credit or 170 euro. Uh, once you have uh, an account, sign in and you will see basically what I see right now here. Uh, so let's start. Uh, first thing we will need is uh, go over in a, in a create proxy menu and select Microsoft Azure. And from Microsoft Azure options, select Add Account. Now, uh, before we can start creating our own uh, data center proxies on Microsoft Azure, we have to fill up this form. So the first uh, field is uh, the name. So insert your name of the profile. Now we have to we have to insert a client ID. So uh, go to Microsoft Azure and click on the menu and select Azure Active Directory. In a Azure Active Directory, uh, go to App Registrations and click on New Registration. Insert name of your own app. It's gonna be, um, it may be whatever you want. and uh, select uh, account type i'm always selecting uh, the second option and this is very important you need to insert a uh, uh, redirect uh, uh, url um, https uh, createproxy.com slash azure so insert into this field and then click on register Okay, uh, Microsoft Azure create for us a new app. So uh, we can now find our client ID. So copy this client ID and paste to create proxy input. Uh, now we have to find a client secret. Uh, it's uh, before we can we can get a client secret key. Uh, we have to go to API permissions and then click on add a permission and then select azure service management okay add permission once you have that go over to certificates and secrets and in client uh, secrets click on new client secret insert whatever name you want and click on add N now we have a uh, new uh, client secret so copy the value. That's our uh, se client secret. Okay. Now we have to find a subscription ID. You can search for a subscription. And this is our subscription ID. So copy the subscription ID and paste. Once you have that, you can uh, select default uh, IPv4 port. I'm fine with uh, 3128. And then click on Add Azure Account. So, create proxy redirect us uh, to the page where, where we uh, should um, um, approve uh, our new app. So, Click on accept. And we are now back in create proxy where we can start creating our proxy servers. So select the profile, select the data center where you want to deploy your proxy servers. I want to deploy my first proxy servers in uh, North uh, West Europe. Uh, you can select the instance. There's plenty of options. Uh, I think the default one is uh, the cheapest 
same for uh, storage uh, also at uh, links so you can find what is what price or what, what you're gonna pay for a selected uh, option okay and now uh, and now insert uh, how many proxy servers you want to create so I want to create just three and I am going to select uh, the service uh, the default one it's gonna create me only one IPv4 HTTP proxy if you need uh, uh, SOX5 or a proxy secured by IP then this, then select the second option and click uh, on create uh, Azure proxies it will take a while because uh, create proxy uh, is now creating everything and setting up everything for you in uh, your own uh, Azure account Okay, so all the uh, all the uh, task has been finished. So now we'll need to wait a few moments before our proxy proxies uh, uh, will be displayed in uh, our uh, proxy list in proxy. And here we go, our first uh, free proxy servers. So let's try them. I'm going to download the proxy IPs. And I'm going to use uh, 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 Foxy Proxy Extension for Firefox to, to try them. So I'm going to delete the old proxies and import proxy list. So now I'm going to paste the new proxy IPs. Import setting. Okay. And let's go to Google. Uh, this is my real IP. So now I'm going to select uh, the proxy IP. Right. Uh, it may take a few minutes before before your proxy IP is uh, get alive. Right. Still nothing. Okay, the first the first proxy is alive. So as you see in Amsterdam this one's still not working and here we go the second one is working
and third one is working. Yep, so all three proxies has, uh, is working normally. So I'm going to close this. So after you are done with your proxies, you can go to the account uh, because uh, when you're gonna delete the uh, proxies uh, from here, they not gonna they not gonna be deleted uh, uh, from Microsoft Azure. To delete also the instances of these proxies. Not just not just uh, clean the proxy list. You have to go to account list, and from account list you have to select the uh, delete proxy servers. This will button right here. This will delete all the uh, all the free proxies, uh, and also it will perform action that will delete basically uh, all your um, all your. Uh, um, um, I mean um, proxy resources in uh, your resource group it will take a while it, it may take over five maybe ten minutes before everything is deleted so so that's basically it as you see I am I have no proxy at the moment and what else, what else I can say is uh, that I am still working on IPv6 support for Microsoft Azure it will take it, it will take a while um and uh yes that's basically it thank you very much for watching and see you next video bye bye